Welcome back to Tain Slayer Info. Even though the Indian Navy operates a variety of attack submarines like Kalvari class, Sindhukosh class, Sishumar class, none of these submarines in these class are indigenously made by India without seeking help or guidance from other foreign countries. To be more precise, the Kalvari class submarines were built by both France and India. The Sindhugosh class of submarines were made by both Russia and India. The Shishumar class submarines were built by both Germany and India. This video will provide vital details on a major defense project through which India will be getting their indigenous attack submarine. The first thing which has been finalized is about the steel manufacturing. The Sail Bilai steel plant in Chhattisgarh has almost completed the work on the development of a testing facility for the manufacturing of steel which is to be used in the making of nation's first indigenous submarine. The point to note is that the Bilai steel plant was a plant which was part of various other steel manufacturers who provided steel for India's first indigenous aircraft carrier which is INS Vikrant made by Cochin Shipyard Limited. So it looks like the Bilai steel plant is part of all indigenous defense products of India which is obviously a great thing to cheer up. In order to get approval for steel manufacturing of the plates, they need to get approval post testing and inspection by the teams of Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory and the Indian Navy. It is said that this time the testing will be 10 times more than the testing which was done during the production of steel for INS Vikrant aircraft carrier. The schedule of the visit by the Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory and Indian Navy teams has not yet been finalized but the steel plant is in constant touch with them to get a confirmation and a date for the visit. Apart from this, this steel plant has also provided steel for the INS Kamota Stealth Corvette, which is the first indigenous anti-submarine corvette as well as first indigenous stealth corvette built by India. In addition to this, the Bilai steel plant has provided steel for the Danush Howitzers and Arjun main battle tanks. So let's hope the government of India's plan for indigenously developing the first three nuclear submarines which will be having 95% of made in India content in them goes as per the plan and successfully. Post these three submarines, the percentage of make in India content would further go up in the next three submarines plan for future. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.